graphs and networks, isomorphic graphs and connected graphs and bridges. Isomorphic graphs are graphs that look different but actually contain the same information and could represent the same situation. Sorry. Sorry about the interruption there. So graphs that look different but contain the same information or and or could represent the same situation. And if you look at this example, which I pinched straight from the textbook, I should have got a highlighter, you'll see if we look closely that all these graphs actually have the same information. They are equivalent. If I asked you to draw a situation representing this connection between A, B, C and D, any one of these would pass. Because look at why. A is connected to D and C. A is connected to oops, D and C. C is connected to a, but also B and D. D, B. D is connected to the two that we said, but also to B. D is also connected to B. Same here. A is connected to D and C. C is also connected to D and B. D and B are also connected. They're the same. Functionally, there's no difference between these graphs. And when you do graph questions, how you choose to lay out your A, B, C, D, your vertices, will define how your graphs end up looking. And I will expect that when the 14 of you do um, a test, I will get 14 different graphs that are all isomorphic. Well, I hope they're all isomorphic because that means you've all got them right. So you might get a question where you're asked to identify isomorphic graphs. So three graphs are isomorphic and the fourth is not. Identify the graph which is not isomorphic to the others. Well, the loop is really easy to check off at B. Yes, we've got a loop at B. That doesn't help us. Is B connected then to C and only C? Yes, 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 aha. No. That is not showing the same information as the rest of these. So just check off each connection until you find the one that is different, that is not equivalent to the other graphs. And then just checking here, A and C then have multiple edges. Yes, yes, and yes. Now we also have to look at the concept of connected graphs and bridges. Uh, connected graphs, let's just write a definition. Um, in a connected graph, Every vertex is connected to every other vertex, either directly or indirectly, but you could get from any one vertex to any other vertex. via another vertex. So obviously a connected graph doesn't have any isolated vertices, but it also can't be two separate networks because a graph can be two completely separate networks. Uh, and that's not a connected graph. And the idea of a bridge so this is a connected graph. I can get from any one vertex to any other. Um, a bridge is an edge in a connected graph that if you took it out, it would break that connectivity.
and you can see why you'd want to identify points of possible failure. So CD, we would call this by the way edge CD, is a bridge because if I took this out the whole graph would no longer be connected. Anything else, there's another path. If I lose AC, well, A can still connect there. If I lose BC, we can still connect here. So a bridge is a possible point of failure where if something goes wrong on that edge, the whole thing's disconnected. So we need to know about connected graphs, bridges, and about isomorphic graphs.